All right, here we go again. I'm starting to like this stuff on creating videos. It is so much fun. Very nice to be creative. Anyway, here is another video. I always, whenever I do new videos, I always switch my background. New beautiful imagery. But can you imagine that if you were high on shrooms with a perfect guy with the perfect personality to experience this visual uh, from the stars and skies and well you know the dark forest and all that stuff anyway I am here to do my fourth video which is really awesome all this um, you know just trying to do some computer work uh, to catch up on things online and stuff like that you know just uh, trying to keep up with computer work but I want to talk about today is that I received an email in my inbox today of course you know the story that I've been telling you about in my past videos is uh this guy is a fucking nutcase the reason why i would say that because this guy is not fucking stable enough to not leave me the fuck alone anyway let's get to the screen gmail Gmail. All kinds of windows going on, but it's okay. I really don't mind that. So I received maybe a couple of these certain emails called sextortion scam, where somebody sends you an email threatening you that they have all your files. And they could take over your computer and wash you through your computer or your phone, espionage. And this certain type of scam is an online scam uh, where the predator sends an email to the inbox threatening, saying that he's been spying on you and he knows what you've been doing in bed, that he's going to expose pictures just for you to send a certain amount of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is an anonymous online currency, so he's trying to threaten me in seizing up my accounts and my personal information or anything like that. But uh, let's see here. This is inbox, no wonder why. Okay, it's under spam. Of course, spam. Every fucking single day fucking nerve-wracking as fuck dude it is so fucking chaotically annoying but anyway I need to do uh, edit this anyway I'm not really worried about that so here is a certain email that I received today high level of risk your account has been hacked change your password so this is the original message that came in today and of course it does not look safe this message seems dangerous and I will read you the email hello I am a hacker who has access to your operating system I also have full access to your account this means I have full access to your device at the time of hacking your account T Luna six five seven eight at gmail dot com which is my email address had this password of fucking numerical fucking one letter fucking combination number. Anyway, you can say this is my but old password or I can change my password at any time. Of course, you will be right, but the fact is that when you change the password, my malicious code every time saved a new one. 
I've been watching you for a few months now. The fact is that you were infected with malware through an adult site that you visited. So yes, of course, the perpetrator is admitting that he has been sending these fucking illegal emails to my inbox through dating sites and fucking bullshit. Anyway, if you are not familiar with this, I will explain. Trojan virus gives me full access and control over a computer or other device. This means that I can see everything on your screen, turn on the camera and microphone, but you do not know about it. I also have access to all your contacts of all of your correspondence. Why your antivirus did not detect malware? Answer, my malware uses the driver I update its signatures every four hours so that your antivirus is silent. I made a video showing how you masturbate on the left of the screen and how in the right half you see the video that you watched. With one click of the mouse, I could send you this video to all your emails and contacts on social media networks. I can also post access to all your email correspondence and messengers that you use. If you do not, if you want to prevent this, transfer the amount of 920 dollars to my Bitcoin address. If you do not know how to do this, write to Google by BTC. And of course he gives us his fucking Bitcoin address which is fucking combinations of letters and numbers. Of course it always looks fucking illegal. After you pay after receiving the payment I will delete the video and you will never hear from me again. I give you 48 hours to pay. I have noticed reading this letter and the time it will, will work when you see this letter. Filing a complaint somewhere does not make sense because this email cannot be tracked like my Bitcoin address. I do not make any mistakes. If I find that you shared this message with somebody else, the video will immediately be distributed. Best regards. And of course I wrote back, fuck you, I am not scared of you, you're just asking yourself to get in trouble with the law. Nice try, asshole. Sextortion scam is common. And the other thread is, fucking smile pretty to the FBI and IC3.gov. So here is the site ic3.gov which is the Federal Bureau of Investigation Internet Crime Complaint Center. Um, so the IC3 accepts online internet crime complaints from either the actual victim or from a third party to the complainant. We can best process your complaint if we receive accurate and complete information from you. Therefore, we request you provide the following information when filing a complaint. The victim's name, address, telephone, and email. Financial transaction information in general. Account information. Transaction date and amount and who received the money. Subjects name, address, telephone, email, website, and IP address. Specific details, how you were victimized. The email headers, any other relevant information you believe is necessary to support your complaint. And of course, you got your... uh, terms and all that stuff so we accept and then this is the form you got to fill out but of course I'm not going to fill out my personal information here this is for like scam uh, foreign overseas if they scam you out of money the description of incident so I got to write this out that this motherfucker won't leave me alone 
and we got uh, categories, which is the following that were used in this incident. Spoofed email, similar domain, email intrusion, other, all applies to me. Okay, so it's saying the law enforcement wants and the agencies desire copies to documents for evidence for your complaint. And so uh, the name of the predator who victimized you, um, country, and then of course more information I need to put in. Other information, this is where you put your email header to um, identify where the origin of these emails are coming from. Who filed a complaint? Were you a victim in the incident described above? Please select one. I say yes. And then it just gives you regulatory information, the Privacy Act statement, and your signature. And you gotta go through CAPTCHA and then submit complaint. So this is how the form looks like and I need to input my complaint right here, my written explanation. So I am gonna work on that. Okay, so I wrote out my statement where I want to put uh, the complaint uh, where the form is at of the complaint form. So this is my statement right here. I said, I wanted to make a report of this extortion scam now that I received the other day. It might be a possible ex who has been electronically harassing me online for four years now through my email. This guy has been threatening me now for over four years now and cyber stalking my inbox email, Gmail account. I wanted to make a report to the FBI because this guy will not stop harassing me. He is an online sexual offender who stalks women online who stalks them through social media. This person or party who is responsible for this abusive behavior towards my free will. This ex is from an overseas and it is a obsessive borderline sociopath alcoholic who would not leave me alone. I am mentally disturbed by this action or behavior that whoever the party is responsible for sending me illicit illegal email to my inbox. I have saved all of these abusive emails sent to my inbox since four years ago. I will make a report of these emails because I am so tired of the abuse of sexual harassment online. The offender who keeps sending me these emails is very unstable from not leaving me alone when I have told this guy to leave me alone four years ago. I received all of these emails every single day. So I would copy and paste that into this part right here. Spoofed email, similar domain, definitely email intrusion, other mental distress. I'm sorry, mental PR. God damn it. Okay, so this is the incriminating email, and I'm going to analyze the header of this email. So you go to show original, and then you copy the whole email text. So I'm going to just copy that. So we're going to go to a website called Message Header, the G Suite Toolbox Message Header. So you just copy the original text in the email and then you 
paste it on here and then analyze the header above and then it'll give you information and then it's gonna say go to show raw header and you copy the whole thing okay so I had saved this different website of uh, IP trace uh, saved in my bookmarks and I could use this tool to put the header in there and verify and the IP address seems to be coming from Indonesia so I don't know if that's accurate or what if it is then that would be awesome so that way I could use this information against the sender of this fucked up email okay so from the tracing email and tracking tool I had inputted that that the country or the origin of this email is coming from Indonesia and the IP address I think that would be good enough to uh, document so we're gonna use that and here is where you copy and paste the uh, uh, analyzed email header submit complaint 